What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? I'm leaving Variant. In this clip right here, Trucker says, I'm leaving Variant. And this is how to do it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So now that it's out that I'm leaving Variant, if you're confused as to why I'm leaving, go one video back from this one on my page and your answer is right there. I wanna take a second to teach the newbies that have never quit a company how to properly quit a company. Don't be like me, don't abandon a truck, and in this instance, I didn't, but I have in the past. When returning a truck to a terminal, get a receipt from a terminal manager, a shop manager, some manager at the terminal. Have them put the date, the time, the terminal location. Hold up, a little late, a little late coming in, but did I hear you say you abandon a truck before? Don't be like me. Don't abandon a truck. And in this instance, I didn't, but I have in the past. Okay. Okay. So you have abandoned a truck in the past. Okay. So how did that work out? That's what I like to know. I like to get a hold of you. I, I want to pick your brain. I want to know what did they, what did they do? And how did you get with variant? Like ain't variant is is a subpar of us express and if so doesn't us express frown upon drivers that abandon trucks i.e variant returning a truck to a terminal get a receipt from a terminal manager a shop manager some manager at the terminal have them put the date the time the terminal location the truck number and that you in fact returned everything get a receipt for that that way when you leave the company can't try to pull some stupid little game and try to put abandonment on your record because you pissed them off by leaving yeah i know you're watching also never ever ever quit under a load make sure to deliver the load first and then take your truck and trailer or just bobtail whatever the case is to the nearest terminal and drop it off and again get a receipt truer words said by a truer truck driver Still want to know uh, about that abandonment, though, bro. Just kind of curious, but he is right. He is right. But I would like to also suggest that you take pictures of the truck and the condition inside and out so that they won't say that you did any damages or you left a truck a mess while they are uh, while they assessing getting your last paycheck together so of course he left variant but a couple of clips earlier is the reason why he decided to move on to better pastures of you are asking me how variant is i'm so glad you asked instead i'm going to be telling you how variant was for me here's all the load info pause to read it real quick here is my arrival message at 7 13 a.m and here's my departure message at 8.37 p.m. Here's my delayed at shipper message. Now, they're only going to pay me for 10 hours, right? Because the first two hours are free. But here's the kicker. They're not actually going to pay me. Because despite this saying it's a hard 8 a.m. appointment, they're claiming the load was actually an all-day window. Which isn't reflected in the loaded call. But if it's an all-day window and you sit there all fucking day, guess what? They don't have to pay you. So they got me there early to sit me there all day and waste my clock and not pay me. Oh, and then on top of all that, they issued me a fucking cash advance for $31.25 that I never asked for. The error was on the dispatcher. Now I can't even access the money. They're not going to refund me. So fuck variant. Damn it, man. I remember those days. I remember those days. I, I remember getting uh, a Qualcomm message that says that the appointment is at a certain time. I get there on time, sign in, be put in the dock, and then nothing. Crickets. Waiting all day. All day. A couple of hours go past. Another hour go past. I'll send in my Qualcomm message about me being delayed at the shipper so I could start getting paid my detention pay. Eight hours later, I can't go nowhere. You know, I can only I can only shut down for the night. Shut down for the night, get with the fleet manager in the morning, get ready to leave, let them know what happened. 
only to come to find out that, hey, uh, we didn't realize that it was an all, you know, you had an all day window. What does that mean? An all day window. Now, when that was first told to me, I was like, what did that mean? Like, I had a window. I, I understand what a window is. Like, I got a window to get there. Like, it's not a, it's not an appointment time. But if you told me that I had to be here at a certain time and that was my appointment time and I got there and then you want to turn around and turn face and say it was a window, bruh, that's bad business. That's that's a bad dispatcher. That that just bad all the way around. You you just wasted my day sorely to get me to come over here to pick up this load that probably somebody else could have picked up. But that's how it was at US Express. I understand where this driver coming from, and I know he's telling the truth because it happened to me. So that's why I tell you, new drivers, hey. Make sure you do your homework. Make sure you do your research. Yep. It's all about doing your research and your homework on these companies out here, man. You know, you got TikTok influencers, TikTok truckers, social media truckers everywhere that's telling you, hey, come over here to this company. Come over here to that company. You can make money here. You can make money there. You, it's, it's so much and so on. And it's like I said and what I've been saying is that their experience is not going to correlate to yours. So definitely do your research. And drivers, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Big G's got it locked, boy. Want you to love me all night, yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet, yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G, it yeah, don't make a sound. And I want you to miss me when I'm not around. Come dive in my ocean, take all my bullshit. My love.